At Education, we want to make sure you have the tools to make your work accessible. We've teamed up with Teach Access, a nonprofit organization, to empower students with knowledge about accessibility. Hello, I'm Kate Sanka, the Executive Director of Teach Access. As a nonprofit organization, we help students learn about making digital things like your ePortfolio accessible for everyone, including people with disabilities. We offer free programs for students, and you can learn more on our website at teachaccess.org. I am happy to introduce you to our intern, Emily Patterson, who will talk to you about why accessibility matters. Thanks, Kate. Hi there, I'm Emily Patterson, a senior at Michigan State University studying professional writing and experience architecture. Let's begin to talk about why accessibility matters. As we work to make learning visible with the Digication ePortfolio, we must remember that not everybody can perceive information in a visible way. For example, for someone with a visual disability, seeing a photo showcasing your science project might not be possible for them. Or, someone with hearing loss might not be able to engage with your video that depends solely on your voice to explain something. When we begin to think more broadly about who might encounter your ePortfolio, we realize that we aren't just trying to make learning visible, we're also trying to make it accessible. Regarding web accessibility, we want to ensure that we are removing the barriers preventing people with disabilities from accessing and interacting with the content on our ePortfolio site. Everyone deserves to be included in learning about the amazing thoughts or insightful accomplishments that you've chosen to share online. With over 1 billion people in the world with some form of disability, it is crucial that your website matches the needs of the significant proportion of the population. From the content we create to the structure of our website, there are numerous ways to ensure that your ePortfolio will be accessible to all. In this tip sheet included on this page, we've outlined a few tips and how-tos on implementing accessible practices as you build out your site on Digication. By applying these best practices, your ePortfolio will be accessible to everyone, especially your target audience, including potential customers, employers, clients, or college admissions. And keep in mind that everyone benefits from accessibility practices. By making the text large enough to read or adding captions to videos, we all get to understand and enjoy things more clearly and easily. Go out and make your learning visible and accessible. And if you're interested in learning more about digital accessibility as a student, visit teachaccess.org or follow us on social media to get involved with helpful resources, career development opportunities, and learning programs.